Hey folks, welcome back to Little Howtown Plays Demon Crawl. Today we begin our adventures outside of quest mode into the endless multiverse. I know that this is uh, considered part of the late game. I think there's one other mode that's available to us to check out. Um, I'll be honest, I really don't know much if anything about it. I'm pretty sure the name endless implies that this is a looping thing. And that also makes me feel like I'm probably not personally so much into that. Um, I like games that have a definitive endpoint that you either win or lose at the end of your session. Uh, so I'm not especially keen on a game that never ends. Uh, but we're going to check it out nonetheless. I hear that... Uh, okay, gain a red and legendary. Nightmare gut blueprint after 200 turns from another unlock. Okay, so we're gonna try to live in order to get that thing. Uh, to happen for us. Immune to omens until your next mistake. Interesting. So we'll try to figure out a way to pop that. That really helps. Uh, that was a super tiny level. And it played pretty quick, and we got two items, and we got a blueprint. So we're gonna try to lose the puzzle piece somehow? I'm not exactly sure how yet, but we're gonna, you know, fiddle around with it. So we got a barb mod. Whenever you take damage, lose defense equal to the sage's minimum power. We don't have any defense. Oh my god, this is so miniature. What is going on in the world? Uh, so how have you guys been? I've been fine. Still home on quarantine or whatever. Lockdown. It is the way of the world at the moment still. Uh, I did take a little bit of a break uh, from recording episodes after we finally uh, were able to conquer hard mode. Uh, I don't know. Spent some time playing some multiplayer games with friends online, that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of became a bit of a focus for me for a while. With 12 coins, I think I'm going to pass for now. These levels are very tiny at the moment. I'm not really sure what I think about that. Uh, what I do know is this seems to be pretty easy at the moment. I don't know why. I'm gonna open this box. Blood bank has appeared. Max life for every diamond or chest left behind. Max life is okay. It's unfilled containers, right? Uh, I'll be honest. I haven't. I've completely set this game down. I kind of wanted to get the taste out of my mouth uh, to come back to it with, you know, a fresh palate. Uh, I don't know. It seems like it's a little bit more fun and enjoyable when I take a little break and come back sometimes. I think it's like the level of salt that I feel. I've got six left here in this huge space. And we know that two of them are here and one of them's here, one of them's here. Three, so it's two here. It's probably not this one. I don't know. Whatever. So we gleaned a four. Let's get some extra information. We now know this one is true. And that's probably enough to solve. Not this. Is this. Five is done. Gleaned another four. Still loving gleaning. What is this? The deer of death. All right, we're down to one HP. We're going to pick up this one to go to two. We did get our mastery to pop. Surprising the level is so small, yet we still had the problem of having to guess. Multiple floors. Take damage, lose defense. Again, we don't have any defense. That's the second barb in a row, though. I wonder if mods are more common in this uh, version of the game. Uh, the endless multiverse. For 10 seconds, whenever you spend coins on a stranger, activate twice. Okay. This is what we really wanted. Love them scrolls. Remove all ongoing status effects. Hmm. This could be good later, so I'm going to pick it up now. I don't know. Uh, let's just go. It's going to start out on the smallest stage I've ever seen. What? is this. So we could get some max life here, and I think I actually will. That's a thing. I don't really know. Flares are my thing. Nine coins, and I'll rotate. I don't need you to rotate. We don't actually need to beat this floor, because we're already out of dodge here. Um, thinking it's 
this one. That's all four. So it can't be this one. This chest is on fire now, so we're going to leave it uh, for HP. I was thinking, well, no, we should probably just go. I am going to open this one box. Get a little money. That's fine. That kind of makes up for this we're going to leave behind. They don't count? Oh, that's super unfortunate. Wow. What a hard lesson to have to learn immediately. <sighs> well, that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, we left the floor. It said it has multiple floors, and I think by the game's own internal language that that should have counted. Let's see what it says over here. Oh, whenever you complete a stage. Never mind. Not a floor. Whatever, dude. That seems pretty cheap. So we just picked, missed out on a bunch of money, and we do have shops that are coming available. I'm a little peeved about that. Alright, that did open. This is good. This is good. This is good. Sell values are unknown. Lose this item after three turns. Okay. How can we safely ignore this? We'll have to lose our blueprint to remove the status effect. But then we'll never lose this item either. Are we able to take the damage? I mean, this run is not going well anymore, so let's just die. Alright, and restart. Well, that was terrible. Uh, let's just try again, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about this mode, guys. And it's clear that I'm a little bit rusty, too. Starting off our musical stylings with a little bit of intensity here. Exit without completing. I'm not really sure why I'm going to do that at this time, so I'm not going to. It's one of these and one of those. It's one of these. Has to be that one. On the first level. It has like 50 things on it. Great. Alright. There are no bugs. Are there happy accidents? Whichever. Let's continue. Let's see if we can get an actual run going here. I'm not even looking at the mods. What were the mods? Coursing Graveyard? Well, if there was a mod, I can't see it anymore. So... One for five turns. It's only one to two anyways. So we're not using it on this floor. Three. Is my solve. Down there. It's one of those. Two. Can't be those. It's both. It's neither. Uh, so yeah. I'm really pleased with how we kind of wrapped up the series. And I'll be honest. Uh, back when we got through... So it looks like this moment may come to a screeching halt if we have to take a guess. Uh, you know, the original intention with the series is like, how long, how much effort, and what kind of, you know, experience is it to play through what I would consider like normal mode? You know, normal mode and then hard mode and kind of clear that and get to the late game portion of the game that looks like it's built to be kind of more on repeater. What's this? Five coins? I'm fine with that. I am slowly taking turns here. I'm so cool, boxes. You can't stop me. Clean all hidden cells, near visible cells, and then a dowsing rod blueprint. What is this object? The spy bug. Clean all hidden cells. It's a lot of gleaning. I think that's one of those items that gets you to the spy free mastery. Probably. Uh, but anyways, yeah. I haven't really read that much about the game. I think I read a little bit. I kind of wondered what other people were getting frustrated about with the game. More so than I was like, oh, I really wish I had some inside information about how to, you know, trounce the game. I think games like this, like, that have quite a bit of choice and strategy, I have a lot more fun playing them myself than I do. It's not these two, so it has to be this one, right? Yeah. Thanks again, Gleaning. 
Uh, we're down to a guess. There's only one. Probably needs to be this one, right? Yeah. We got him. Activate items that would trigger when you discover a cell of a certain value. What? Oh, uh, if you hit a five, something happens. Okay. Uh, so we get, get ten extra coins from the pool before we leave. We did charge up our mastery already. That's pretty good. Do we have a shop? Yeah, we do. Let's go to the library first so that we can encourage items at the shop that we want to see. I think I'm going to go defense. Minion, omen, life, and discover. I'm going to go to this research item thing. And I didn't even look and see what item we got. Whenever your armor breaks, get an extra two keep. Okay. 20 turns set your stats to their current values. It's interesting, but it's also too expensive. Spend coins to order a random item. Spend coins. After 10 turns, the item is added to your inventory. What does that mean? Every 30 cells open without making a mistake, reduce the stage power by one. We want that. Let's take that. That sounds pretty good to me. So we're down to 1-3. Skyward Storm, it looks like it says. Doesn't look like there's a mod. We do have our mastery available, so we could always use it. In fact, why don't we? Just make this level super easy. Uh, with a bunch of extra information. Here, the totem. I think we just lowered the power. Yeah, we did. I figured the sooner we use our mastery, uh, the sooner we start on recharging it. So, can we hold it, you know, for a stage that is a real problem? Sure, absolutely. It's probably even the right, you know, quote unquote, the right play. Uh, but I don't really care about that. I don't know as much as I care about doing whatever I feel like doing. It's one of these three. It has to be. Three of these five. Maybe one of these three. So it has to be both of these guys. I'm dead wrong. That's what I get for inference. One, two, three. It has to be these three instead, right? Okay. Am I dead yet? I have one HP, so that's bad. That's what you get for guessing. One of these two, which means not those. This is the only one it can be, right? Okay. Inferenced correctly this time, look at that. Uh, you'd think that we wouldn't have any problems after using our mastery on such a small stage, but I am a living testament to the idea that you never know what you're gonna get. One of these two. Hmm. I can't believe this is so hard with so much gleam. I hate it. Uh, give me a box with an item in it, please. Solve a random cell. It explodes. Uh, let's use that. Boom. Okay, so that's a little helpful, I guess. It's one of these two, so it can't be this one. Can't auto fill that. We can that. Uh, one of these has to be. One of these has to be. One of these two satisfies this two, so it's not these three. And now I've got those four. There's three around here, so it has to be this one I can glean that four now. Nope. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, the totem seems like an excellent item. I'm not gonna mince words. Back to 10 bucks. Only have one HP. <sighs> On to the next level. Guys, this might just be a warm-up video. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just not going very well. Fake Hellfire Tower. A total of three cells have the wrong... Uh, God, I really hate stupid mods like this. Like, I, I don't know. It doesn't increase the enjoyment of the game. It's like, oh, look. Uh, random arbitrary false information. And I'm pretty sure there's no item in the game that overcomes it. It's just... Randomness for the sake of randomness. I am disagreeable on this. Uh, here's some HP. Probably want that right away. 
Did the totem just go off? Maybe that item is... I don't know, I wasn't paying attention to what I actually said, so... Okay, that's done. Uh, I do like that it seems like pretty random levels. Uh, it looks like a full level set, like from the rest of the game. Which I really like, that's what I've been wanting for a while, instead of running basically what feels like presets. So that's just wrong. This four is wrong? Boy, that's gonna kill me. The magical bean, for a turn, you're talking to magic items, affect the entire column and row. Do I have anything exciting for that? Targeted magic items? Uh, that sounds fun. Let's use the boomerang. Okay, did not affect the boomerang at all. I was dead wrong about synergy. Uh... All right, we died because of the level mod uh, basically lying to us. Super great in a puzzle that's based entirely around logic to give people false information. And given the current climate of the world, it's just double frustrating to have to listen to people outright lie to you about things. Transform a random moment into a random moment. Great. Don't have any of those. Can't use that item at all. Uh, are we guessing on our fifth click? Looks like it. It's one of these two. It's one of those two. Okay. Well, with the, through the power of gleaning, we didn't have to immediately guess. Which is nice. But without that glean, this would have been unsolvable. Let's get out of here and try to get a run going. Uh, the cavernous volcano. Away we go. Uh, helpful item, please? Nope, just a stack of money. That's fine. Be able to get out of this room okay. We did. Let's keep going. Eighteen. Leave this world behind. Was this always here and I just didn't notice until just now? What's this say? Dimensional four. You may sacrifice seven random items. Really? Okay, so we're gonna spend this entire game collecting stuff and then you're just gonna take them away randomly? Again, difference of opinion about what makes a game difficult and what makes a game enjoyable uh, for me and the designers on this. Randomly taking away things that I'm trying to strategically structure in order to become stronger overall isn't really fun. In fact, I consider it a total detriment. It becomes utterly random whether or not you can stay strong enough to continue playing and winning. What is a touchstone? Coin drops are now worth two. No, I don't care about that. Chance to find treasure chests? Order an item. Again, now let's just get more chests and see, see, see how we feel about there. Give me some chests right now. Thank you. Give me this. Full health. Just got a little more money. Oh, hey, Buster. Oh, hello there, sir. How are you? Got a little fuzzy friend visitor here who's very excited to be joining me in the video. Hello, sir. He is. He's a good boy. All right. Yeah. Get on my headphone cord, though, and I am concerned about you pulling this. This is very sweet. I'm very sweet. We'll get right. Away we go! Sorry for the pause. But I don't say no to puppers. Um, it's one of these three. It's one of those three. So it's probably neither of these, right? So probably is this one. Can I stick my reputation on it? Yeah, let's do it. Bold. Bold plays. One of these three. One of these three. This two's already satisfied, so let's use that to our advantage. Hmm. We can 
only be this one. Clean to four. Two means this is good. Thank you. Cleaning again for getting me out of this. I'm probably going to start talking more about what I would see, love to see in the game. Uh, just because, I don't know, man. Things that would put a better taste in my mouth. I wish gleaning was attached to more objects in the game. So that as you collected different items, you could build basically a gleaning build. Uh, instead of only being able to start with the spy in order to really get, you know, good glean powers. It would be really awesome if there was a way to cast uh, a glean on a click. You know, with like a magic item. Or like, glean three in a row. You know, kind of thing. And so you could just have different ways to accomplish the same thing uh, over the course of a game. What I really think would be interesting, personally, is if uh, the core to four or greater is, is a great mechanic, I think. But what if that was like a stat in the game, like a character stat, where it started very high, like at six. Like, glean is six or greater, and, you, and or core to six or greater, and then you get a glean. Uh, and then you're able to lower that stat down lower and lower and lower and lower. I know there's an item in the game that I think gives you a, on a th corded three? Something like that. Uh, you're able to glean off of it. But I just love a lot more variety with the gleaning especially because it feels like agency. It feels like something that I'm doing. I really like this level. Uh, something that I'm doing in the game, uh, not something that the game is doing to me. Uh, and that's why by far it's my favorite mechanic in the game. Uh, it adds to the base game of Minesweeper in a, in a meaningful and enjoyable way to me. So, it's my two cents on gleaning. And character classes are fine at the beginning, like, you know, you can start your runs differently, but honestly, I I don't know how you would do it, but man, if it was just rolled, you know, you roll it as like a stat upgrade during the course of a run, or even collect different uh, abilities that you've unlocked, and be able to stack, you know, two or three having slots kind of like items over here, but for these masteries, and you can choose between uh, upgrading the mastery you currently have, or gaining a new one, or replacing one, you know, that kind of mechanic would be super interesting, because every run would be different in a way that would give players a little control over their agency, and it'd be allow you to flex, of course. When things are going a different way, you can get out of a mastery and go to one that's more valuable to you. Enter stage triple its minimum power, that is a death sentence, right? So I think our run is just over again. Uh, who knows? I know random stuff can happen in this game. It's this one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Give me another omen, please. Slightly increase your chance to find lives. Sure. Uh, the problem is... Are we going to be able to survive a single hit? Why is this the way it is? We did something wrong. I saw it as we were clicking, which was really bad. wrong here? Why, why is this happening? There it is. Okay. So we're down to 2 HP. We never had very many to begin with. I'd like to point out again that over the course of... What? Three or four attempts now? We have found zero items that give us more health. Zero. That we were allowed to afford. That's not true. We had the blood bank. We had one item that we were not able to use, and when we tried to use it, it didn't we don't know how to read. One of these and one of these, so not these. Still horrific. Still a total guess. Lucky. Lucky. Double lucky gets us out of the level. Okay. XP level up here. We still don't have another shot. We do have a mastery. Power. Hmm. I'm thinking about going to that, just for giggles. What does it do? Gain a present and get more loot. I don't want that. We do have to survive this level first, in order to go to it at all. What is this? Complete stage without restoring any lives. Find a tablet. So we can't pick up HP if we want to gain XP. And I'll be honest, the metagame outside of the run is not very interesting to me, so I'm not inclined to not pick up HP right now if I found it. I'm trying to find some items in this chest, maybe? 
duration of status effects? Oh, we had an omen transformer this whole time. Let's just do that. Inner stage, spawn a number of cankers in the minimum power. That's a little better, maybe. I mean, we're gonna have a lot of baloney on the screen, but. Hmm. The one, two, one is powerful. And gets us out of guessing for exactly two and a half seconds. So that's good. Please. I don't know why my computer's hanging. Every time we open a chest, our frames plummet. I'm sorry about that. Keep 25% of their mana after use. That's fine. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. All our items are passive, though, so it doesn't apply to us at all. It's one of these two. No, it's one of these two. So it can't be this one. So it has to be this one. Okay, cool. Again, I wish there were more gleaning tools in the game. I don't know if we're going to get out of this level. So let's go right now. Tired of trying to make that work. And then... Let's... Use our mastery to try to not die. Let's see how that goes. Cool. It's zero against, right? So it has to be that. Uh, this seems fine. Did it re-roll my... Nope, sure didn't. Four or five damage. So basically we make a mistake and we're done. Uh, we did heal. We're off of that bonus tablet thing anyways. I do want to open those. I'm a little concerned they might contain omens. Uh, and mess us up entirely. I would like this run to... You know, it'd be nice to at least make a little progress. Like, pretend like we had a chance at making it further into the into the run than, like, the fourth floor. Uh, even if it is only a pipe dream right now. I mean, I honestly have no idea how hard the ramp up is in this, so... From what it looked like, from the little bit that I saw online about people playing this mode, basically you just had to RNG your way into a broken combo in order to actually stay alive for too long in this mode. Two, three, four, five, that's fine. Four, five. There's only one of these three. Is that even possible? One, two, one of these three. No, one of these. And then it has to be this one, then. That's a lot of gleaning. The, the gleaning is breaking my mind right now. There's four around here. Could be these two, right? This one already has three. I didn't notice. So that's very helpful. That one already has four next to it, so it's only one of those two. Has to be one of these two, so it... This is a mess. So th three here is one, two, three. Gleams. Okay. We're done with that very confusing mess. And we're working our way up the board. Some peaceful tunes in the background, keeping us on the equilibrium. No salt, only pleasure. I'm not sure if this is the mode. This might be the mode that they said that they were reworking. I'm gonna move this box. Twice as much loot until your next mistake. Exciting. Uh, so I'm gonna probably pop that the next level if we make it that far. Like basically, yeah, we're guaranteed to die if we make a mistake here. So. Do we have any items that can help us? We sure don't. Alright. So there's four left. One. Two. Two and a half. We're totally guessing. 
Uh, so we're going to open this chest and hope that it's an item we can use. Nope. Uh, I don't know what else to do besides guess here. Yeah, we're done. Uh, I think that's going to do it for our first video back. It's... You know... Sometimes you just don't have the juju going on. I'm going to take a break. We're going to come back. We'll do it again tomorrow and see if we have any more luck. Exploring the endless multiverse. Uh, thanks for those of you coming back and tuning in. Uh, hopefully, uh, endless multiverse gets a little bit sweeter for us and we make a little progress and see what it's all about. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, be well.